wandering. We'll have the secret. Plus, Knott's Landing star Joan Van Ark ties up all the loose ends, and Gordon goes door knocking on the Young and the Restless set. I'm Jim Ryan. Join us tomorrow starting at 6 on Good Day New York. She has made millions telling people how to lose weight on television, saying she was once fat herself. But now, her brother says she's a fake. Inside Edition, straight ahead. the latest slimming sensation to hit the scene, fighting flab with fitness. But for Susan Powder, she's fighting more than fat. She's fighting her brother. I'd rather be a rat than a lying guru. The diet diva begs to differ. It's sad. It's, it's low rent when blood sells for money. <laughs> The best word to describe him is just a monster. This woman is describing a man that put her through 20 years of hell. I think it ended the life that I was. The little girl that I was, he killed right along with Jessica. Today, a courageous woman tells her tale of terror that will not fade away. Let's go. He used to hate like a canvas. He's the Michelangelo of the main, Colin Watkins. And when you leave his salon, people can't tell if you're coming or going. Two, one. Hello, I'm Bill O'Reilly. Thanks for watching Inside Edition today. Can you believe a man who shot two little girls, killing one of them, could get out of prison? It's true, and the survivor of the ordeal is scared to death. She is fighting to keep this monster off the streets, and we'll have that story coming up for you. But first, accusations against a woman who has made millions telling us how to lose weight. She is now in great shape, but says she was once fat. But is that true? Rolanda Watts is here with the story. Rolanda. You know, Bill, we might not have taken the allegations that Susan Powder was not fat so seriously had they not come from her own brother. Or if she was not banking her overnight success on marketing her story of obesity. So we traveled to Susan's hometown of Dallas to get to the bottom of this matter. Every time you put a slice of this cheese in your mouth, Bum, 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 That's what's happening to your heart. Let's compare fat to fat. You can have one slice of regular cheese, or you can have 32 baked potatoes. At 260 pounds, I learned how to stop the insanity. Stop! That is Susan Powder's battle cry, a call to just say no to the diet industry. Her message, though delivered in brassy boldness by this almost bald, bleached blonde, is simple, and it makes sense. No fat, plenty of exercise, and deep breathing. Breathe! Come on, let's breathe! But it's her own life story that perhaps gives her the greatest appeal, especially to obese women. The success of her infomercial and fitness tapes has led to success in other areas as well, like an upcoming talk show, a book deal, and you know you've arrived once you've been spoofed on Saturday Night Live. You don't have to give up! In her Stop the Insanity infomercial, produced in 1992, Susan claims to have once been fat herself. Four and a half years ago, I was an unfit person. Susan claims that four and a half years before she became this television diet diva, she was a hefty 260 pounds. The result, she says, of the depression she experienced after her husband ran off with another woman. And when he rode off on the horse, I sat down and ate and ate. And ate, and ate, and ate, and ate, and then cried. And Many of Susan's believers can relate. They believe with Susan's help, they too can change their lives. I just think she's great, and I, I've gone, you know, exactly what she said is what I'm going through. Depression, I hate myself, and all these different things, and I'm just motivating. She's helped me. When you look at her, what do you see? 
I see a woman who's done it, and she gives me the hope that I can do it, too. I don't have to write myself off, because Susan didn't write herself off, and she's an average American, just like I am. That kind of support has reportedly helped build a $13 million empire for Susan. Although she denies that figure, she admits having worked hard for her overnight success. But it's a success now being threatened by, of all people, her own brother. So I'll tell you what it is. It's not painful. That's last. It's sad. It's, it's low rent when blood sells for money. Mark Powder has stepped into the national spotlight to openly accuse his sister of telling a big, fat lie. I thought it was funny up until this point. What do you mean funny? Well, that she was getting away with it, basically. She was uh, heavy. She had gained weight. She had had two children right in a row. But I, I don't think she was ever up to 260. Mark, I have to admit that it's, it's somewhat discomforting to sit with a brother who's talking about his sister this way. He's basically selling her out. Well, I'd rather be a, uh, a rat than a lying guru. Breathe! Look at the form in this room. Look at the form in this room. Basically, I think she's giving a lot of overweight people misinformation and it's really not fair uh that's a group of people who don't deserve to be lied to mark reese was working with susan in 1987 the year she claims in her video to have been fat i can only speak that the date 1987 she looked perfectly healthy like she looks now you never saw her look like that woman in that I, picture absolutely not so i think people deserve to know the truth and so i'm i'm telling the truth we brought the allegation straight to Susan, who brought us a handful of photographs. Photographs she hopes will help prove her obesity. You can say what you want to say, but don't tell me I wasn't fat. And don't tell me I didn't suffer pain. They can do whatever, but they can't take that from me. L listen, Susan, this is what I'm saying. I'm trying to find, for the people who want to clarify this issue, what year was it that Susan Powder was 260 pounds. 85. 85. No. I was 260 pounds in 1985. And in 1986, one year later, right. I was a lean, strong, healthy woman. Right. So let's stop there. So you see that when you say 1992 and a 1992 production, that four and a half years ago, folks, I was 260 pounds, the years don't add up. So let's say five. No, let's say closer to seven years, Susan. Seven. That's how many years ago you say you were really fat. And why not correct your video, too? Inside Edition finds your dates confused. Your story, maybe not. But the bigger story here, in the midst of all of this weight watching, is what's going on within the Powder family. All of this turmoil surfacing right in the midst of Susan's success. I will not stoop to that level. But what I will tell you is, there is anger involved. There is jealousy involved. If anybody has played anything out, it has unfortunately been my brother. What do you think that Susan is going to say once she sees this interview? I don't really care. You ever have any hopes of making up with her, getting no, back to her? No, I don't have any. I, I don't want her in my life. Turn it up. Go post. But there are others who do want Susan in their lives. Women who say they don't care about this controversy. The only pounds they care about are the ones that Susan's helping them lose. I think it is horrible that anyone would attack Susan in that manner. Susan, I see every day picking people up off the floor. Susan helps them climb out of those shells in those dark places and lets them know that there's a light. She knows what I'm going through. It is difficult for this father, Colin Powder, watching his family squabble on television. But he defends Susan. My son has had a vendetta against Susan for the last several years. This vendetta has been very serious. I've had to call the police to arrest Mark because he went to Susan's house, threatened her, and we had to have him arrested. As painful a time as this may be for Susan, she says she's determined to move on, continuing her Stop the Insanity message. And I'm not going to stop saying it. Am I, I, I'm going to continue saying it, saddened by this, embarrassed by this, ashamed by this. Yeah, I will. But I'm not going to stop. 
And now to another chapter of Susan's life. As for old Nick, Susan's ex-husband who ran off with the other woman and made Susan gain all of that weight, well, word is the two are now on great terms. In fact, Nick reportedly lives in the same duplex with Susan and her new husband, all three of them helping raise Susan's two boys. So, Bill, maybe Susan's life is showing us that you can overcome almost anything. It's all too confusing for me, Rolanda. I'm just a simple guy. Duplexes, years, I, I don't know. Good report, though. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you, Bill. And there is much more to come as Inside Edition moves along. Want to look like a star? We'll show you how it can happen. And just ahead, an unthinkable man guns down two young girls. Now, the girl who survived is tracking him. From the killing next door. Hello, everyone.